What this demo will show us is how security and sensitive data in Snowflake can be protected by leveraging Snowflake's uh, native governance primitives. So masking policies, dynamic data masking with Immuda making that extremely uh, simple and easy to and use. That's it. Let's jump into the demo. It does bring us into the experience of a user within the Snowflake environment where sensitive data could be exposed. Yeah, we're looking at some credit card numbers, which could be very sensitive, confidential, go in within Immuda. This is what the Immuda uh, UI looks like to the left is the navigation pane and the option to create the data sources. In this case, our data source would be a Snowflake instance, creating projects and managing that policies. There is a query editor and some administrative options too as well. But let's go into the data source and connect to a Snowflake instance by introspecting the metadata coming from Snowflake. We can see that the credit card transaction table is visible to us. And we can uh, drill down. It does show us that this is a uh, snowflake. Let's click on the dictionary. For the table, we can see Immuda has looked at that table and discovered a credit card number. This is uh, being tagged as PII and also PCI. You can manually add tags if you want. Once the data has been accurately tagged, we can now go into policies, mm. create a data policy here. This is being created in plain English, so data can be uh, masked. Wherever there's PII information, uh, you want to mask that using hashing for everyone except users when acting with fraud detection or audit. If the audit team or the fraud team is looking at that data, they can see the plain data. But if everyone else is looking at it, they shouldn't. This is creating those policies in almost plain English. But those will be translated to Snowflake, of course, leveraging Snowflake's uh, uh, native policies uh, capability. Click next. Now there is a policy saved that is available for use. We haven't used it yet. Our policy is called Mask PII. Again, you can certainly create policies in Snowflake, but as you can see, what the Muda does is, is give a, a very streamlined a UI to do that. Click on this ellipse to activate that policy. The PII policy is activated. Just to recap, first thing is looking to identify uh, sensitive data, tagging them correctly. Now, wherever that tag shows up, this policy will be applied. A very scalable way of doing it as opposed to directly putting policies to specific tables. You want to attach policies to tags. Wherever the tag shows up, those policies are enforced. Click on next, the policy is activated. If we go back to Snowflake, now, uh, because this table has an active policy on it, if we query that, uh, we can see that uh, that data was masked. Uh, yeah. Governance is something that's a first-class citizen in Snowflake. Tools like Immuda built on Snowflake takes advantage of those primitives that Snowflake has to give that abstraction for uh, a simpler, unified way of doing governance and also having auditability and the lineage. Definitely a very fascinating tool in the modern data space. Governance is burgeoning. Uh, teams will either do governance because they want to or because they're forced to, but either way it's going to be done. Hopefully this self-guided demo of Immuda would uh, give an idea. Of course, if you have any questions, links to Immuda will be in the description below. They will know way more than we've shown here. We've only touched the surface. Reach out to them with any questions. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Fru. We'll see you in our next demo.